Hi guys and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, we're going to look at the sea and we're going to look at the coastal processes that is involved at the sea. We're going to look at some of the landforms and features and what actually makes these landforms and features. Um, before I do that, please remember to check out our website where all the, you can find all the videos and many more. We're currently doing maths ones now, so if you check on uh, the website you can see some maths videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So, what we're going to look at is coastal deposition. Material that has been eroded by the sea is transported so transported and deposited by the process of longshore drift. Okay. By the process Of longshore drift. When waves hit the coastline, the water which runs up the beach is called swash, and the water that runs back down the beach is called backwash. So, as you can see, you can see we've got the sand and we've got the sea, okay, and then down here we've got the wave direction. So, what happens for longshore drift? So what happens is these particles, sand particles, meet the sand at the same direction that the the wave direction is going. Okay, so it's usually at an angle. It's very seldom is it head on. So this is the swash, the forward direction, and then what happens is, with the backwash, it comes straight back at a ninety degree angle, and then the particles with the swash are brought across again and this process is called longshore drift and what longshore drift is doing is all the particles that were over that were once over on this side okay all over this side will end up over here and you get a big belt a big build up of material now on some beaches to stop this from happening what they do is they uh, put down grinds and these are barriers, usually wooden barriers, and they stopped longshore drift from happening. So what it is, is they would get these barriers, and they would put them here. And maybe they would get another grind. And place it here. And you could get another barrier. And we could place it here. And what happened is, all this sediment, instead of being ending up all the way down here, a big build up of sand particles, you will get a build up here and here and then what they'll do is they'll take the particles and they'll, and they'll spread it back across the small area in here and in here instead of having to go all the way back across the beach so this whole process of transporting material from one end of the beach to the other of the, of the swash car carrying the particles at an angle and the backwash bringing it straight back this whole process is called long shore drift. This is really important, you need to know this. And because of this long shore drift and the transportation of material and then depositing all the material along the beach and see what happens is we get a, a few different coastal deposition features or landforms. And we're going to look at those features now. Some of the features of coastal deposition are one Beaches, the second one, spits, the third one, bars and lagoons, the fourth one, a tombolo, and the last one, the fifth one, sand dunes. Now it doesn't really matter which one you learn, but you must know one for your exam. Now the one I suggest you, you learn is the bars and lagoons. And the reason why I suggest you learn this one is because there's a lot of information you can write on it. Because it's the same as a spit, but there's a little bit more in it. So I think a bars and lagoon is a very good uh, coastal deposition one to explain. Plus the diagram is quite easy to draw too. 
Okay, so this is a diagram for a bay and a lagoon, which is the feature of coastal deposition that we're going to look at. So, how does this happen? How, does, how do we get this lagoon in here and this bar here? As you can see, the longshore drift direction, it's moving down this way from left to right, and the prevailing wind is moving in this direction here. Okay, so we can see the swash in the backwash, and the swash in the backwash is going to start moving all these sand particles from left to right. So as the waves enter into the bay, so this is the headland, headland, and this in here is a bay, the waves will slow down and deposit its material along here. This deposited material builds up over time, forming a ridge of sand, with one end joining to the headland. Over time, because of the longshore drift and because of deposition, the spit will join from one headland across to the other headland. And once this is joined across, what it leaves is, it leaves this area of water in here, which is now not attached to the sea. And this is called a lagoon. And over time, this water in here will actually dry up and it will leave behind a salt marsh. And an example of a bar is Ladies Island Lake in County Wexford. And an example of a lagoon is Takum Shin in County Wexford. Okay, so I've wrote out a few points in short, so if you want to take down these notes, please do. But you should definitely watch the video again and take down the notes as I explain step by step how this happens. Because these are only short uh, little bullet points that I have here that you can use. Um, but you should definitely wa rewind it and watch it again and make notes as, you, as it's going along. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. That's the end um, of coastal deposition. Remember, please, 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 guys, can you leave me some feedback? Because the more feedback, the more positive feedback I get, uh, the more encouragement for me to, to make more videos and also lets me know if these videos are actually helping you um, with your geography. Thanks, guys.